This cart of equipment is what's keeping the patient alive. The process is known as extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO. The ECMO circuit infuses oxygen into the blood when the patient's lungs or heart cannot. Each ECMO circuit requires two nurses for every patient, along with a host of support staff. Lindsay Medeiros has been part of the team since its inception a decade ago. One of the, the nurses runs the ECMO machine and one of the nurses takes care of the patient, but really it's a total care approach. The ECMO program at Banner University Medical Center Phoenix formed to respond to the H1N1 pandemic in 2009. Taking care of those patients and developing our tools and really getting a lot of knowledge for our, our specialist brought us to where we are now with this pandemic. I can honestly say this is one of the most difficult challenges I've taken on as a critical care nurse. It's given us an extra level of support that we can provide sick patients. Traditionally, the ventilator for oxygenation uh, purposes was as high as you could go. Dr. Mark Tassett says more than 80 nurses at Banner University Medical Center Phoenix are now trained on ECMO, making the program one of the largest in the Southwest. The team recently added more ECMO circuits to treat more patients with COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus. We take blood from the patient, run it through an oxygenator, which puts oxygen in the bloodstream, removes carbon dioxide, and then we return that blood to the patient, and then their heart pumps it through like it normally would. It acts as an extra lung outside of the body. It's sometimes difficult to take care of these patients when they're so sick. But intensive care unit nurse Melody Nungari Ortiz says the ECMO circuit gives her patients a chance to survive. And this is the actual therapy of, of ECMO right here. She shows how the system works. You can oxygenate through all these thousands of thousands of fibers that you see here in the back. The ECMO circuit does most of the work, allowing the lungs and heart to heal. Dr. Jennifer O'Hay is a critical care doctor. She says most patients need ECMO for a couple weeks. The patients that we need to put on ECMO because of COVID are also needing that lung bypass support for a long time. So far, we know at least a, a few weeks and probably longer. The longer use also limits the availability of the ECMO circuits for other patients as the coronavirus continues to spread. Everybody is at risk, not only just to get COVID, but to get a very serious illness from COVID. What keeps the patient alive minute to minute is the nursing care that they get. And we have such amazing, educated nurses who put in so much of their own time. Introducer is... It is a high stress environment. It is definitely something that takes a toll, but I feel like this is my calling. I feel like this is what I'm put here to do. And I really have been very proud to be in these moments. For Banner Health, I'm Jeff Stensland.